Hey Libra, welcome to Queen Air Benetero. Today we're going to do your mid-June general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So I'm going to be honest with you Libra, I feel like this, you guys got some people in your business. You got some haters around you surrounding your situation or relationship. I'm also picking up scenarios in regards to exes, baby mothers, baby fathers, also family members and mutual friends, okay? When I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Clout by Offset featuring Cardi B. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. First thing I noticed is that Libra, you guys, you know, I'm doing a reading for you all. Cardi happens to be a Libra also, so somebody may be accusing you of being a hater or being jealous and also you had strong very it's crazy because when i looked it up because something told me to look up the information offset happens to be a sagittarius you guys had crazy fire in a pre-shuffle okay crazy fire so there definitely could be a um sagittarius in this situation also strong leo popped up in your pre-shuffle as well with the six of wands now, first of all, you have the six of wands, the four of wands, and the two of wands. If you think about it, you had a two and a four, that equals six, and then you had the six of wands, and we are currently in a six month. Something is definitely getting ready to go down in regards to, I definitely feel gossip because you guys have the page of swords also in a pre-shuffle, so definitely some gossip, a lot of gossip, a lot of talking, and possibly some hostility because somebody's salty. I'm just going to tell you right now. Now, if you're single, I feel like your ex has moved on. And, and this new person that they're dealing with may be accusing you of being jealous and spreading rumors and starting gossip. Now, if you are in a new relationship, I feel like your ex is going around telling people like she's just doing this. She or he is doing this for clout. They act like they're happy, but they're really not. Because I'm seeing somebody like posting a lot of um, selfies with their person on social media and things like that. And somebody's getting jealous um, or somebody is screenshotting things and forwarding it to either you or to an ex. I'm telling you, it's a lot of people involved because you also have the five of wands. And in the Five of Wands, there's literally five people arguing, some type of conflict, some type of drama. Again, going back to that Wands, this fire energy, some of you guys definitely are involved with someone who has strong fire in their chart. Or there's a fire sign who has a big impact on the situation. Somebody's keeping up bullshit. I'm just going to say that right now. Because with the song, he says, it's like he's chanting over and over again in the hook of the song, you do anything for clout. In other words, like you'll do anything for attention. So somebody feels as though... My ex is trying to get my attention by posting a lot of things about me on social media, or you may feel like this. Somebody's saying that. I'm telling you what, I'm getting very strong here, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today. We're going to change the card at the top and the bottom of the deck. And also the fact that, like I said, Cardi is a Libra, and this is a Libra reading. I feel like, so I really feel like more so someone is accusing you of just posting stuff about your relationship when it's not true. Like somebody is saying that, oh, this person's posting this and that, but they're not really happy. They are still texting me or they're still calling me. It's something like that. I'm, I'm getting that very strong, okay? So as always, there's absolutely no reversals in either one of my decks right now. But once I start shuffling, if I get reversals, I will read it as such. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you have something that's gonna come to the light. Now, for some of you all, this may have happened in Taurus season because the hair font does denote the energy of Taurus. Wow, yeah, definitely Taurus. Because look, there's other cards here, but you see what was sticking up. You got two Taurus cards. Queen of Pentacles, definitely Taurus. You definitely got Taurus. And didn't I say fire sign? Look at that. And they're facing each other. I'm telling you right now. So something could have happened. Um, somebody got a nickname like Robin. I know this isn't a Robin bird, but I just heard the song um, Rock and Robin. And you see how he's standing between these two birds. Somebody can have red hair or red highlights in their hair or some some mahogany, auburn, some type of hair. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody with like some highlights or something. Or somebody fancies red, like somebody's favorite color is red. Or they, you may have a picture or this person may have a picture and they're wearing some type of something with a strong statement piece like red. Because his hat is red, and he has red hair, and you got two red birds, and even like the inside of his um, outfit is red, and then his crown is red. That's why I say it's like a statement piece, like a piece of jewelry, or a shirt, something like that. Whatever the case, like I said, the fact that they're going towards each other, a page is always a messenger. So I feel like a fire sign could be coming back relaying messages between two people. I feel like somebody's keeping up drama, because you have birds on each side of him, and birds are messengers, pages are messengers. So this somebody's keeping up drama enlightening someone because you see how this glow is coming from behind him for some of you guys this definitely happened in tour season possibly in in may which we just literally just left out of 
this definitely, and you did have the Four of Wands. Remember I said that at the very beginning of the reading. Four of Wands is a marriage card. With the Hierophant, that's always a long-term relationship, a companion, a spouse, traditional unions. So this could be involving someone finding out that their person, their ex is getting engaged or they're getting married. I feel like somebody's coming back saying like, oh, you know, so-and-so is getting married or you know, so-and-so is getting engaged. And I, again, I'm going to say like somebody's showing some screenshots. I don't know why, but this glow right here and I never get that. I'm getting like, like the camera flash, like somebody's sending someone screenshots. It's just messy is what I'm getting overall. Look here. And I, I can't make this up. Look right behind the nine of wands, wounded warrior. Somebody's hurt. Somebody hurt. Somebody salty as hell. Definitely someone involved in the fire sign energy for sure. For sure. Because even though this is Taurus, I'm hearing Aries also. Let's see. We're going to go through the deck until we get you guys major arcana, which is the Justice card. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. Knight of Pentacles, slowest moving knight in the whole entire deck of tarot. And I'm going to say this also. You had Strong Fire and then also Virgo. Virgo, you had the major arcana, the hermit in your pre-shuffle. So definitely um, Virgo energy as well. So I feel like this, this just reminded me of it. And then right behind us, you have the Queen of Wands. I'm telling you. It's some drama. Because here's the thing. Both of these characters, because he has a face shield. You can't see his face. She has a hood. Like she's hiding some sneakiness. Anytime you have face shields, masks, hoods, it's something hidden. So there's hidden drama. There's hidden gossip. A Virgo could be involved in this drama also. And we did have Taurus. So strong Taurus, strong Virgo. Leo says Aries right here with the Queen of Wands. A Leo again with the Wheel of Fortune. I'm telling you right now, somebody is unhappy about the shift in your life or someone is accusing you about being unhappy for them, like being a hater. Okay, so let's go ahead. Like I said, I want to get judgment call. Something to look. Somebody's still hanging on. You got the hangman, Piscean energy, Scorpio energy here with the judgment. And if you notice, the hangman is looking right in the direction, okay, of the um, judgment card. Somebody has not moved on. Or they're accusing you of still being in the picture, still hanging on, still texting them, calling them. This is a call to action, okay? You or your person's first, middle, last initial could be C-G-M-W-O-J. Also you, if I didn't say you already. Somebody is, and it's like, they have people believe in them. Because you see how he's blowing that trumpet and they're floating and they're gravitating towards the music or whatever is being said. There's a lot of people involved here, I'm telling you right now. I, I, and this is both major accounts, so that's definite energy. Somebody's like the Pied Piper, like they can get everybody to believe and go with whatever they say, because that's what the Pied Piper did. You know, he blew his little flute and, and the mice came running. They followed his every word, his every note. And that's what I'm getting. Somebody's believing some, some bullshit that someone has said. There's definitely gossip. Okay, because if this is not a same-sex relationship, you got two people gossiping and chit-chatting. <laughs> and I just heard how are you going to talk shit when you can't even get in a club whatever that phrase was that Chris Brown said like, how are you going to talk shit when you can't even get in a club and I'm saying that because if you notice the door is closed here that door is closed and by that I mean not literally a club but it's like how are you talking shit from outside when you don't know what's going on inside of here you get what I'm saying that's what I'm getting here look here Somebody's being messy and keeping up drama. Somebody's being messy. You got the magician. Now, the magician is not a negative card, but when you tap into the energy of the cards that I was getting before that, this is somebody who's being messy and deceptive. Also, more Virgo energy. Vir Virgo and Gemini here. Can't make this up. As soon as I parted, you got the devil. Somebody being messy. Okay? You also got Capricorn right here. Somebody's being messy. I'm going to say this again. People... Like, listening to the Pied Piper, listening to this person's shit, because that's like dancing with the devil. You can't see his eyes. Which means somebody has a hidden motive. Deception. There's deception here. Two major icons back to back. So yeah, this is confirmation for me that I'm getting slander. Somebody is either saying, whether you're doing it or not, I'm not saying that you're doing it. I'm just telling you that somebody's saying that you are trying to slander their name or somebody's slandering your name. That's just, that's happening. Seven of Pentacles, because again, this person can't move on because they, you may have had seven plus years with this person. Okay, and also you notice here her basket is empty. Like this person was like, I gave you so much of me because that's growth. Trees talk about growth. I gave you so much time, so much of me, and I left with nothing. So somebody saw it because they left with nothing. Possibly also financially they suffered from this breakup as well. And you see what's still peeking up right here? The devil. Somebody's upset. Capricorn. Toys Virgo Capricorn. Somebody's salty. It was possibly a breakup also in Capricorn season, which is December, January. So this could have happened last year. Okay, so let's go through the deck and get the, yep, this is involving a marriage or someone who was engaged to someone. 
with the temperance card your energy libra taurus also aries again again you're keeping this um judgment card two major cards back to back yep two of pentacles juggling somebody's trying to maintain their composure so again, we're going to look for the Justice card, which is your Major Arcana. The card that comes before and the card that comes after for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, there we go. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm telling you, this has to do with love. Look at that. Right in front of it, you have the High Priestess. And right behind it, you have the Two of Cups. And behind that, you got the Moon. Can't make this up. Things hidden, things unknown, things you don't have clarity about. Something coming to the surface, some type of gossip. I'm telling you, I feel like people talk a shit. Okay? Because if you notice right here where this... um. Where this little hot little ball is or whatever that is, it's right by his throat chakra and he's howling. That's like a, a gossip, like he's howling. And then you have one person, this other wolf looking at him. I really get that somebody is bringing drama to the surface, okay? And it's also, if it doesn't play out now for some of you all, it could it could come to the surface completely. I feel like it's going to start, but I feel like it's going to come to the surface completely in cancer season. Because in that last shuffle, I did see the chariot, Okay. So you got a lot of water around you. So somebody is definitely in their feelings. You have the high priestess, Piscean energy, and then you have the two of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Somebody's definitely in their feelings with all this water. Okay. Here's the thing. For some of you all, you already know who's doing this. And I know that because you have the high priestess. She's all knowing, all seeing. She knows what's up before anybody else does. You, your person, or third party's first, middle, last initial could be J B C O U M H K. Okay. You, your person, or third party's energy. You have the high priestess floating towards you and floating towards the two of cups. So somebody knows something or they're acting like they know something. And I'm going to say acting because if you notice, now if it's you, you already know who it is who's doing the gossiping. That's just it and that's just all. But if it's somebody outside of you, it's like they act like they got all the information because she has a book here and book has information and content, but the book is closed and she's not even looking at where she's going. She's just floating. So somebody is talking about you guys' relationship. Okay, I'm. A, this is very interesting, but I'm getting that somebody's saying that you are being used or your person's being used because you see how the rainbow is going into both of their cups, but there's only one fish going towards this person. It should be two because that's an equal exchange of something fruitful. So someone is saying like, oh, this person is just with this individual because they have money or because they, you know, they're Vic or they just, you know, something like that is what I'm getting. And if you don't know what Vic is, because <laughs> I'm from Chicago, right? Uh, Vic is like somebody who would just spend all their money all willy-nilly for whatever you want. Like they're they're kind of goofy for a person is what I'm getting. So let's see. Bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Pentacles again, second time. Slowest moving night in the whole entire deck of tarot. Could, and look what's peeking out right here. Didn't I say Leo? You got the sun peeking out here. That's sun, Leo. So, um... Again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, strong Taurus, strong Virgo. Oh, Capricorn, too, a couple times because you had Major Arcana, the Devil. I'm telling you, I feel like somebody's bringing you some information. Pentacles hold value, so somebody's bringing you some information that's valuable or they that, that they see is valuable, or they could be feeling like you're doing this. Let's see what's up under here. About somebody's family life. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. Now, the song, like I said, Clout you do anything for clout. Like somebody's like, you'll do anything for some type of information, for some type of accolades. Because a knight is either someone going into battle or coming out of battle. So somebody feels like they're coming, bringing you something of value. But the fact this horse is, look how heavy his body is and it's black and his leg is not moving like he's moving forward. His leg isn't even in motion. It's like, whatever this information is, it's not going anywhere. It's going to stay right where it is because it's, it's, it doesn't serve anybody any purpose. Because there's some gossip that's coming to the surface. That's for sure. Let's part the deck. <laughs> you got a lot of, look here. Somebody is involved with a earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn who is coming in and bringing some information. Because pages, again, are messages. This is somebody, you have two people holding up pentacles. Like, you have people coming to you, possibly, I'm, I'm going to say again, with screenshots, text messages, or they're saying that you're doing this. Somebody's being accused of something. Let's get a clarifier for the high priestess, but somebody knows better with the high priestess. Someone knows better. Yep, there's gossip. Somebody's saying that they're still juggling in between two different people. They're breadcrumbing. It's strong. Oh, I just said tower. Aries, Scorpio energy. Yeah, some, somebody's not being truthful. Someone's lying. You have the Ace of Swords. Truth, clarity, knowledge, and wisdom in reverse. Sword up, yes, sword down, no. So whatever somebody is saying, 
It's big lies. Look how big that sword is. Big ass liar. Now also keep in mind we are in Gemini season. Gemini is swords. I feel like somebody's lying right now. Like this is going to happen in Gemini season for a lot of you all. But keep in mind I did say cancer also. Cancer season is at the end of June. So I feel like somebody's starting rumors now involving somebody's partner. Empress again. Okay. For some of you guys this could be someone finding out that someone is married. You see how this sword is going towards her like being handed. This is also a card of victory. So I'm going to say this again. Somebody's salty because someone has moved on and they're getting married or they're engaged. There could be gossip like, oh, well, you're married or engaged to this person, but so why are you still calling me? You know, some just petty stuff is what I'm getting. Yep. Saying that this person never completely left with the Six of Swords in reverse. And they want to cause some type of drama. Just seeing the star card definitely could be done with Aquarius also. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> I can't make this up. You guys are watching me. This is your major arcana. So I feel like some for some of you all, people are accusing you of causing drama or not being happy for them or starting rumors. Again, sword up, yes, sword down. No, that sword is down. If you notice the difference, okay? Same card. She has scales. He has small scales, but holding a sword. Right here, her sword is right in the middle, but it's down. So I'm going to say again, somebody is saying that you're going around starting gossip or you've not moved on from them you're still trying to call them and things like that that's what i'm getting that's going to clarify for the high priestess for libra okay that flipped out real quick yep will of fortune reverse to somebody saying like they're not happy that someone moved on because if you notice right here this literally is like a um compass and compasses help you travel and move in a different direction same thing she's doing and if you notice right here it looks like a devil like figure again i'm getting more Capricorn energy, okay? So you got Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and also I'm, I'm definitely picking up Capricorn energy, which we've had a couple times with the devil. Titus in reverse, the opposite of fortune with the will of fortune is misfortune. So somebody's telling you some information or somebody's spreading some information hoping that it's going to cause some type of misfortune in someone's relationship. You got two major arcana, so this is going to be a big time. This is going to be a big thing. As always, I'll tell you guys, major arcana is definite energy because that's spirit. That's the universe. You know, that's angelic presence. That's all encompassing energy. So somebody's trying to cause some type of misfortune and some type of upheaval in someone's life. I know somebody's trying to cause upheaval because in that pre-shuffle I've seen the tower. That's like chaos, you know. Bottom of the deck. Absolutely. Somebody's trying to cause chaos. You got the magician. Somebody's trying to manifest some type of drama because they're as salty as hell. That someone else has manifested a new love interest or something that's going to be in. I feel like marriage is involved in this situation where it's getting ready to be. It's going to clarify for the two of cups for Libra. Yeah, somebody wants attention. Somebody wants to have people believe what they're saying. Seven of cups could be dealing with somebody whose birthday is in July. We're going back to what I said when we seen this energy earlier. Okay. Um, you could have been dealing with this person for seven years. You could have been separated from this person for seven months. The Seven of Cups is also illusion, confusion, feeling scattered and all over the place, but also having multiple options. Notice here there's a snake, and it looks like he's almost getting ready to uncover this person. And you see how you have that red caution? I'm telling you right now, somebody's trying to cause drama, and I feel like you're going to find out who this person is, who is under, behind, okay, he's behind his cloak. You're going to find out who's behind all this drama. It's going to happen this month, and if not this month, definitely cancer season for sure. You're going to find out. Because even here, outside of not an equal exchange, you see how this water, this uh, fish is jumping out the water? It's like, hell, could be a Pisces. Um, how this fish is jumping out the water? It's like somebody is just going to say something they have no business saying. Like somebody's going to spill all the tea. You see how they got the cups there? Somebody's going to spill the tea. Somebody's going to tell what's going on. And they're going to either, the person going to tell on themselves. Or this person is going to be uncovered because it literally looks like the snake is getting ready to uncover whoever this is up under here. There's somebody keeping a drama, hoping to keep a situation down. Okay, because again, uh, right, that's fortune. That's blessings. That's abundance for movement. Okay, in reverse, that's misfortune. Somebody wants something to end. Somebody wants people to be confused because it's confusion also. Somebody doesn't want their person to trust. You know, they don't want people to trust one another. I really feel like somebody's like, oh, this person's still calling me. This person's still texting me. Something to that nature. You will put it where it applies. Again, I'm going to say if you're single, you can have an ex who's saying that you are going around. Because I told you, somebody is slandering you. Because remember, at the bottom of the deck, you had the um your card and this deck. And I shuffled it. But you had this card 
in reverse, which means you're not standing in your power or you're doing something sneaky, shady, and negative. And I know that because you have the magician. Again, I'm not saying you are. I'm saying that's what you're being accused of. If you're single, somebody, an uh, ex, baby mother, baby father, or just an ex, even if you don't have children with them, is saying that you're hating on them because they're moving on. They're saying that you're causing drama, trying to cause some type of misfortune. And you're going to find out the source of where all this is coming from. Because I'm going to say again, I'm getting screenshots like... Even right here, yes, that's a star, but you see how it's in between the two people. I'm seeing like somebody taking screenshots of couples and their selfies, and they're showing it to you, or they're saying that you you sent them messages. It's it's I feel like it's it's people being messy, is what I'm getting here. There's people being messy for sure. Somebody's birthday could have been in the year of the dragon, year of the snake, year of the dragon, is what I'm getting also. Somebody could have a koi fish tattoo. And again, you have cancer. Pisces, Leo, Sag, Aries, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Very strong in your reading. And Leo, very strong in your reading. Okay? So thank you so much, Libra, for watching Queen Air Tarot. Until next time, please continue to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.